you are here to enjoy this one. I'm gonna head over to La Biblioquette for some dinner. Here at La Biblioquette. It sounds here at La Biblioquette. Yeah, we're getting that. Saint Germain Champagne, Elderflower, La Rose, Biblioquette, Champagne, Oh, I would love a non alcoholic mocktail if you could make me something. Like, there are on the other side of the menu, towards the bottom, there's three there if you're interested in any of those. If not, we're, I'm happy to go off menu and create. Okay, uh, this Zuzu Gabor sounds very, very delicious. I like that. It's um, tangy. Well, it's so it's it's as geeky as it gets when it comes to juice. Oh, okay. Source the fruit when it's available. Wonderful. Sitting down in Miami, a full press formula. Nice. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. That sounds wonderful. Nice. Okay. Yeah, watermelon uh, cold press is one of the best uh, nutrient like it absorbs into the body nicely. I like that. Thank you so much. Good days of back. Vermouth always tips it down a bit with the bitters. It's nice. For sure. Oh, yeah. Very good. Dark and stormy. For sure. Oh, yes. We have a couple soup du jour. We also have a couple appetizer specials. Okay. It's black truffle season. So we have some black truffles from Alba. Okay. The black truffle is only for 65. Nice. Is that similar to this risotto? Uh, it's the same preparation, but with black, fresh black, black truffles. Black trumpet ravioli. Than, uh, okay. Um, and then we have a uh, a beach foie gras terrine that's going to come with an onion cup coat and then okay. some toasted sour cream. Right. Uh, and then for our main tonight, here's our last package. We have a uh, main lobster that we prepared on the plancha. Okay. So the butterfly is prepared on the on the flat top. I think what sounds great is the uh, lobster bisque, sounds wonderful, and there was the squash salad, is that a favorite here? Okay. I'll do this yeah. The squash salad sounds wonderful, and do you recommend the black trumpet ravioli for the bowl with the salmon? Uh, or are you talking about the risotto? The risotto, yes. Yeah. The risotto, the, the wild mushroom risotto that's on the menu, although under the appetizer portion, is very filling. Okay. Uh, so if you were doing the three of those, you definitely need to do it. Yeah. You'd have a good amount of <laughs> Okay. With uh, the salmon, is that a wild caught salmon? It's Faroe Island. So oh, Faroe Island, yes, that sounds wonderful. I will do that with the salmon and trumpet ravioli. That sounds good. Cool. Uh, consomme as well. Consomme, okay. That sounds perfect for myself. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. All looks as well? I think we're all right. This is the lobster bit. It smells delicious. Thank you. It's supposed to open up the heart, right? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. Perfect. Thank you so much. Thank you. 
I seen the prototype, they look delicious. They have like that appetizing look to them and like sleek like the Aston Martin with all the like the right curves. You never know though. The prototype changes from I heard you just open the store next uh, across the street. Yeah. yeah. Two, 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 oh wow! Good for you. Congratulations. I wish you the best. I'll have to come check it out during the day sometime. It's right here, two two six. You said? Yeah, two two six. I'm so happy for you. Oh, that's thank you. What a great place to like thrive, you know. Oh, you can have this. Thank you. When Good I first moved to Palm Beach, um, they had this service called Trip Wheels. Yeah. It's a concierge. This is where you, you can drop off your car, they'll pick you up, and they'll bring you a new car. It was very affordable with the insurance and everything. It was under $2,000. You know, with a concierge, right you yeah. had a choice of Rolls Royce. I'm sorry, that was an upper tier, but yeah. you had like a Land Rover, a Mercedes, right. a Porsche, uh, and a lot of different well, things. They, they went out of business. Out of yeah, it was, um, they leased out of a service that was like presidential, presidential auto. Okay. And they came up with a concept, which was great for a few years. I really enjoyed it. Yeah. You know, it was less than leasing. Right, right, right. But, uh, yeah, they, couldn't make it. Well, I think they priced too low, which they, it just didn't make it in. One cool. You know? But it was a good I remember seeing all the promotion for that. I never did it, because I would bring my car down here for the season. So that was a much better problem. I found it the first year that they started, so it was good to get a promotion. And it was a definitely convenient to have a concierge and you know, a new car. Because we were trying to, it was really nice to figure out. I Land Rover, not so much. You know, I broke for Mercedes in the first week. My favorite, of course, was the Porsche. But the, the Cayenne has that more agile feel. <laughs> For sure. And I'm not inside. I've had a few of them over the years. It's a beautiful car, but it's the same thing. It's always in the shop. It needs a repair here and maintenance there. It's true. Beautification process. Get you all that That's what they want. <laughs> They're made better back then. I feel like they were solid. Yeah, yeah. Right, so it's super nice. Yeah, so it's super nice. It's hard to find here. Like, yeah. They're all imported. Very cool car. It was imported in 1960. It's a wealthy guy and a film producer in LA. I can say once a month, once a month, I get it from my wife. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. Say, yeah, yeah. So yeah, what is the one? I hope she takes care of it. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like one of your horses, okay? You just train it like a horse. Yeah. That's a good analogy, I like it. <laughs> But he's excited. He's he doing that? A business marketing, fashion merchandising design. So he'll we'll be ready in Florence. It's a good place. Like an ex-wife that lives in Florence. So he needs to be helped. 
I want him to like spread his own wings and figure out how to how to go on his own. Yeah, which is the best I know. Twenty years old. Yeah, of course. I never. I moved to Hawaii when I was nineteen, but I also had a son on the way. So glad I made it here again. meal and love bibliocat so glad i made it here again